come with me as I unbox this XP Pen Decofanes drawing tablet. It is my first time trying this and today I will be using it to draw stickers for my shop freebies. Based on its name Decofan, it's really fun to use because of its cute size and it's also portable which is perfect for beginners and artists on the go like me. I'm not that good at digital drawing since my forte is the traditional one but I will prove to you guys that using this XP Pen graphic tablet is beginner friendly. It is compatible with PC or laptop, tablets, and phones. Just buy an OTG because it is powered by USB and Type-C cable. I forgot to add but there are 4 colors of the graphic tablet but I chose the black one because it suits my desk setup so much. Now let's set aside this box and let's take a look at them one by one. So the first thing that we have here is first the USB-C cable, the stylus pen which is battery free, a lot of nibs, and a nib extractor. Of course, we also have the quick guide and the warranty policy. When you look at it on the screen, it actually looks pretty heavy, but in person, it's very lightweight, and if you're like me who loves bringing tote bag, bringing this tablet anywhere will not be a problem. And now we are ready to set it up. Before installing any drivers, make sure to connect your device first to the XP Pen tablet. As a PC user, I am glad that the cord or the cable itself is long. My hand is actually small so the size of this stylus is perfect for my hand. Now let's install the software. So first go to XP Pen's website, click drivers download and search for your product category. So mine is the Decofun S and download the software for Windows. So mine is actually Windows 10 so make sure to download the latest one and there you go. Once you're done, you can actually customize the work area, so I picked the full screen for both screen and pen tablet, and for the pen setting, I customized the two toggle buttons for the pencil and eraser. Don't forget to save and restart your PC. We are almost ready to draw, and as you can see, the stylus is very small, which is handy, and it's also lightweight, just like the pen tablet. And I will show you the indicator light, so it has three modes, so you can see it right there. And finally, let's test them out. The first thing that I notice is whenever I draw, the surface of the pen tablet is really smooth. And I think it's because when the nib touches the drawing tablet, it really follows the area or line where you draw. Actually, I drew this bare for like one hour because I'm having a hard time to draw and use the pen tablet, but I believe that practice makes perfect so i know that in a few months maybe i'll say that i am finally um, used to it so i hope that will happen you don't have to be good in drawing if you want to have one because it is also great for online classes like for example solving and note taking and of course for digital art and editing i asked my artist friends which application is easy to use for digital art and they suggested medibank paint pro but if you have other apps available just like GIMP, Photoshop, and Krita, that would work too. But if you're not familiar in any of those, XP Pen also offers free applications. If you purchase from them, you can get them once for free. Anyway, back to my experience. As I observed the pen tablet, I noticed that there are some little streaks, but I think it's because of the pressure I put on the stylus and you can basically clean them with the cloth so no worries about that because XP Pen tablet is scratch proof. I hope that I'll be able to create more artworks with this tablet especially this summer because I have nothing to do other than this and next time I will update you about my progress with digital art. 
Later, I will show you the printed version of the sticker or the sticker sheet that I made because I combined them all in Canva.